Hi. Today's video is dedicated to the why. Someone once told me that some people just want to know what time it is and some people want to know how the watch works. I'm a how the watch works kind of person. I want to know the why. What's the reasoning behind something? Why are we doing this? So today's video is going to tell you the why behind the channel. The reason I started the channel was I was already traveling a lot for work. I was going to all of these interesting places that I felt like not very many people got to see. It wasn't just your typical New York, LA trip. I was getting to go to strange and interesting places, middle America, random towns, countries that are a little bit uh, less visited. And I just started realizing to myself that there are stories there that people want to hear. There are mysteries, there's history, there are individual encounters, um, there are t hometown legends. There are all of these things that people might find interesting. There's stories to share and there's history to save that I didn't want to lose. So I started recording things. Uh, the videos in the beginning weren't that great, but you all stuck with me. <laughs> the videos got better, the editing got better, the music got better. <laughs> it was not just the stock music from iMovie anymore. And we started getting more equipment. We started visiting more interesting places and we started finding more interest in what would seem to be not very interesting places. We've traveled all over the world with this channel. At this point now, since I've been recording my adventures, I've gone to 10 countries and 39 states. One of my goals for the channel is to visit all 50 states and get to at least 20 countries in the next few years. As I started collecting these stories and as I started being able to meet new people, I realized more people probably wanted to hear these stories. Uh, it was just interesting stuff to me, so I figure if it's interesting to me, maybe it'll be interesting to other people. And so far we've shared some really incredible stories. Some of the videos have done really well. Some of the videos have not, but that's okay because it's all part of the process. It's all a big part of the learning journey. It's helpful for me too, to be able to experience these things with you because I'm learning what you all like and what I like. So we travel to all different places and I start to bring these adventures to you. One of my video companions, David, is sleeping on the ground right now. He's been in a couple of the videos and he's traveled with me many places over his life. He's sort of like the secret B character in all of this. So if you want a little Easter egg, look out in the videos for David. Sometimes I get to travel to some place that I think, oh my God, what am I even gonna learn there? What am I gonna film there? But I research every single town I go to and I always find something fun. For example, when I went to Des Moines, Iowa, there was a tiny town just outside of there that ended up having a creature that I always wanted to learn about. That town, of course, was Van Meter, Iowa, which brought us the video, The Van Meter Visitor. And it was one of the first videos we started using the drone to tell stories. Van Meter, Iowa was one of the first places where we were able to start utilizing the drone. The drone has become a huge part of my storytelling process, and without the drone, I don't think I would be anywhere near where I am today with the channel. That video was also filmed in negative 17 degree Fahrenheit weather. With the wind and the chill factor, it was what they call a feels like negative 29. And this started our extreme videos. So filming in super cold temperatures, filming in extreme environments, and also implementing the drone. We implemented the drone in a couple of other videos and I started to really see the effect that it had on the channel. So we did the Red Rock video where we did a drone tour of Red Rock Canyon. And I feel like it started teaching me a lot about cinematography and actually framing the video clips in a way that was telling a story and not just, oh, here's a clip, here's a clip, here's a clip. It was something that started to click in my brain as, oh, this is how you begin to tell a story. The next video that we used the drone for was Seven Magic Mountains. This is where I started to really get uh, a bit more freedom with the drone and I started learning a bit more moves, some drone moves. From there, I started adding drone footage in to pretty much every single video that I could. If the drone was available, I brought it with me. Um, we did the Devil's Hole video where we went out to Ash Meadows, which is inside of Death Valley National Park. So 
The drone footage that you see in the beginning was of the car and the car started to become a bit of a character onto the channel itself. So that's my black Dodge Challenger that you see. And um, I really loved the comments when people were talking about the car because it was exciting for me because I love that car too. And having the car become almost a character on the YouTube channel was really exciting because one of my favorite shows, Supernatural, the car is a main character on there as well. Once we started exploring more and more in the area, I started realizing how much the valley and the desert had to offer. There were stories so close to me that I had no idea were even there. I spent so much time in Las Vegas and then just flying to different cities that I had completely lost touch with the towns around me that were drivable and I hadn't learned anything about them. So I started looking around what's next to me. It's uh, difficult to have a travel channel when the world is ending and there is, um, <laughs> you know, limitations on where you can go and what you can do. Obviously traveling to places with a lot of people was out. So when I really started dedicating myself to the channel, I realized you have to start finding places without people. And a travel channel going to places with no one there was a little difficult. That's where we started going to the ghost towns. We started visiting places like Calico and Rhyolite and we started finding new places to go, abandoned places. So we visited the water park, we visited the Florence Mines, and we started making friends with people in the same communities. And I started finding all of these other YouTubers that were in the same niche as me and got to make some really cool friends. The goal for the channel is to continue visiting interesting places and to keep telling fun stories. I wanna keep sharing history and keep bringing mystery alive. Thank you for joining me so far. Thank you for sticking with the channel. I appreciate each of you and I'll see you next time.